did the systematic review to see if there was um, information that could be gained uh, about securement of central vascular access devices. And we knew that there was not a random controlled trial that had addressed this, but even within the systematic review, we found uh, a real lack of evidence um, answering that question. We started with, we ended, we set the net really, really wide. I, in fact, um, we were looking for all the acronyms that are currently in use with um, CVAD or SICK or FIC. We finally um, got it down to about 39, I think 39 articles. And um, in there, we found that we're all looking at it differently. We should look at the safety aspects of securement, which would include skin issues, clapsies, risk of needle exposure, um, Marcy, you know, the, the medical adhesive issues. Those are things that are safety related to securement. And under efficacy, does it do what it's supposed to do? Um, migration and dislodgement. We were able to get to the place where we could um, reach some conclusions from the data that was there. And that shows that that there are better alternatives for securement uh, than sutures. Um, and so hopefully it's going to move us forward um, in this conversation about safety and efficacy. Every time a securement study is done, follow what we looked at in the systematic review. And then five, ten years from now, we'll have a meta-analysis of data to look at that we can actually compare one securement one engineered securement device to another engineered securement device. Right now, it's all over the place.